while our two heels dry, maybe it's a good uh, time to have a look at what we still have to do. Um, we're going to be trimming back a little bit of this um, edge, so we have like a good distance everywhere around. Then we're going to make a groove for our stitches to fall in, as we've done before. Um, we're going to be sewing all around the shoe, and then we're going to be attaching our heel. Now, um, I'm going to um, put rubber on my sole and on the heel, so that I don't slip in the rain in Belgian weather. Um, and when you do that, when you have the, the shoemaker or cobbler put the rubber lining on your shoe, they're going to be cutting into the sole, they're going to use a, a belt sander to sort of take off the top layer to make it a bit more rough so that the rubber sticks better, but also to sort of make the transition from the sole to the leather uh, more smooth. So if you make your groove and do your sewing and then have part of the leather uh, sanded away, you run the risk that your threads will get cut. So what you should do if you want rubber is you should go to the cobbler and ask them to do the preparation of the sole. Now, if you have your own belt sander, you can do that yourself. But I don't have a belt sander, um, so the best I can do is befriend a shoemaker and use theirs. So, that's what we're going to do next. I am back from my visit to my friend Tony, um, and I went to borrow his belt sander. I have sanded away um, some of the leather where the heel should go, and then where we're going to put a rubber um, protection on the sole so that it won't be too slippery. Um, here you just need to sort of sand away the top leather, roughen it up a bit, that will make it easier for the glue to work. But then both here and here sort of created this um, straight edge that we can put the rubber and here or heel against later on. I've done the same here, um, this side of the heel, it's a bit rough, so this is going to be aligned like that, and then we will glue it later. We'll put some rubber here. Before we do that, um, I'm going to trim back the side a little bit, so this is still as we originally cut it, and in some areas uh, it is a little bit too uh, wide, it extends a bit too far, so I'm going to cut this back a little bit, so that we have a sort of nice distance all around the shoe and then we're going to make a groove here where our stitches will fall in when we finally sew everything together here on the outer rim. 